traditionally, psychologists and other therapists were taught therapy is a very particular kind of relationship. And you as a therapist are there to help the client with what their goals are. In return for that, you get paid. That's where the interaction ends. You are not supposed to get anything personal out of this relationship. It is for the client. I think there were some good reasons why in the 60s and 70s and 80s, some people brought up the, the idea that the therapy relationship exists in a, in a broader society. And we can't pretend like there are not societal forces that are affecting a person's mental health. And, that, and that's okay. But somehow that turned into, we must not only acknowledge the effect of societal forces, we must use the therapeutic relationship as a change agent to make changes outside into the world. Right. And that changes everything about what's happening in that in the therapy room. It becomes activism because yeah. then like how do you decide when there's a clear power dynamic between a therapist and a client? How do you decide what societal changes are worthy of addressing and how you do that? It's going to default to the expert in the room and that leads to all kinds of problems 